media heroes. Hello folks, this is Sasha Costa with The Media Heroes. The website is themediaheroes.com, but you will be seeing this on themediaheroes.tv where we'll be sharing videos uh, with different business owners talking about life, business, uh, social media, and everything else that we put in there. <laughs> I'm here today with my dear friend, Helen McWilliams, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Helen is not just the owner of two daycare centers here in Pearland. She's also a good friend that gives me lots of great advice. <laughs> so, um, Helen, tell me a little bit about you. What made you start these daycare centers? You own Stepping Stones 1 and 2 co-own. You have a partner, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, tell us about that. Well, uh, many years ago, I've been in daycare about 25 years. And many years ago, I was taking care of my mother in my home, who was uh, bedridden. And uh, when she passed away, I said, I've got to get busy and get a job. And right down the street, they were building a daycare, and I went right away, got a job, and I was working for my dear friend and the other owner of Stepping Stones in daycare, and I loved it. It became my passion. So then I was, my husband was transferred to South Carolina, and lo and behold, because of my experience, I became the own, the director of the largest daycare in South Carolina. Wow. It was also uh, a corporate owned and South Carolina Electric and Gas uh, was a parent company of this company, Scanna Corporation, and they opened this daycare to serve their staff. And it was a hit. Not only was it a daycare, but one side of the daycare was for senior citizens. So. It was a good meld. It was almost looking at a sunrise and sunset all in the same day. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. It became my passion. Then I decided I wanted to go back to Texas where my children went to school and get with my friend and co-partner now and see if we could start a business together. And we did. And it's been fun and it has paid off volumes. Uh, not only is it a good money maker for me, but it's also a job that I want to get up every morning and get here as fast as I can because I get all the wonderful hugs and love and joy from all the children here. And, and it took a lot to get this started. I mean, you have to have a business plan. You have to do all your homework to make sure that you're going to have money for payroll. Uh, and I did all that, and it worked, and it's a success. And not only that, because of our success and the quality of our daycare, mm -hmm. I've been chosen to be on the, on the advisory board for Texas Regulatory and Child Protective Services. Oh. And they said that I was, I was nominated for that because of the quality of our daycares, which to me is the epitome of my career, to be uh, chosen on the advisory board because of the quality of our cares. I think we made it. That's great. That's great. Now, we are at the West Oaks location. Right. And if I understand correctly, West Oaks helped build this for daycare and, and you bought into it. But I mean, this is almost like, it's not exclusive for West Oaks, but it's, it's great because it's an interest of West Oaks and it's a beautiful location. Right. Well, I started uh, the daycare uh, in a strip mall down the street. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my goodness, when I sign that contract for three years, what will I do if we don't get children? <laughs> and I started to sweat after the first week, and then I'd go out in the parking lot and ask everybody that went by, do you need daycare? And, and they would say, well, let me look. And then before you knew it, we had become full. And then Renee West McGuire, who is a uh, developer here in Pearland, who developed West Oaks right behind us now, came to me and said, you got a good thing going here. I want a really good daycare in front of West Oaks to service the people who are buying into West Oaks subdivision. You tell me what you want and I'll build it. And we did and it took off. And it was, it was a wonderful thing that happened because now not only do we have this one in front of West Oaks, which services all the West Oaks families, we now have grown and we have another one down the street and it services um, babies as well. So we do it stepping stones two, six weeks to fourth grade and this one uh, 18 months to the fourth grade. So uh, I'd like to go on and build some more and I think we could but uh, 
I don't know how much time, <laughs> time I really have to <laughs> devote to that. So I'm satisfied wow. with what we have. And the other stepping stones is towards Silver Lake, right. correct? Right, and, and we have mostly, mostly Silver Lake people there, but we mm -hmm. get people from Shadow Creek, Manville. It's, uh, we're just widely known. That's great. Mm -hmm. Helen, and what I have to say about you is that, you know, as because my child goes here as well, is that you're just so easy to talk to. Mm -hmm. I mean, parents walk in, and you're a people person, and you know how to, lead, how to deal with people, and how to just, and I think you're just being yourself, and that's what's mm -hmm. so great. And mm -hmm. you're just, I mean, parents love you. Well, you know, that's really, uh, I, I just love the fact that, that we have a good relationship, all of our parents, and uh, I make it a point to get to know everybody's name and a little something about them, and I know all the children's name, and listen, let's face it, everybody likes to be addressed, and they like to have people use their name. I mm -hmm. think that's important. So I make that my goal is to, to say goodbye and hello to everybody in the building, and uh, I made it also a point to know all grandmothers, because that's important and people who come to pick up the children, like neighbors and aunts and uncles and all that. <laughs> it is a people-person business, no doubt. Wow. Um, I wanted to ask you, as you were growing, mm -hmm. was it all word the mouth? What did you do to market your two different daycares? Because, I mean, we are a marketing company, so I want to give ideas to other people. And, I mean, you're great with people, so it must Maybe it's just word of mouth, people just got to know you. Tell us about that. Well, we started growing so fast, I became really interested. Hey, how did we get to be known in the community? So I told the girls that worked the front office, and I did as well, when people would come in, or even on the phone, we used buzzwords to get people to be interested. Come by, we'll give you a tour. And by the way, how did you find out about us? And it was most always, well, my neighbor told me, or I was in the beauty shop and somebody told me, I've been riding by and looking at the beautiful building. It was mostly by word of mouth. We used to do wow. yellow pages, but people don't look at those anymore. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a website and uh, we're gonna update a little bit and get, uh, get a web website. And uh, I, I think the best thing, and now we have a referral policy where if some of my families refer somebody to us, they get a uh, uh, $100 bill or they get a discount on their tuition. And that really works too. We're starting to see that that pays off as well. That's great. I mean, my son has gone to probably two or three daycares since we've been in Pearland. We've been in Pearland for about 11, 12 years. And this is home for him, as you know. Yeah. So. Uh, I think that once a child has been here, sometimes the parents want to change because it's closer to work right. or it's near a grandparent that can pick them up or near the pediatrician. But we find, uh, thank goodness, a lot of times uh, when they leave, it doesn't take long for them to come back. <laughs> I think there's a lot of things about us that are good selling points. We have great people that work for us. I do a really incredible in-depth uh, interview to make sure they're suited for daycare. Uh, we give special discounts for people that work for us that have children. Um, and when I do my staff meetings, I make it known that, you know, people want to be acknowledged. They want to be told something good, not always something that happened in a negative way, but they want to be um, told good things about their children. We make sure that good things do happen to them. It is an absolute fact from three from, from birth to three years, children take in more information into their brains than they ever will again if they live to be a 100. And I train my girls, this place better be positive because it will impact. We may have a, a, a president right here right now or a secretary of state <laughs> or whatever, and we better make it a positive, positive experience for them. So I think the positiveness of this, the cleanliness, the uh, curriculum, the food, we have a great cook who cooks mm -hmm. a hot meal every day. I think if you were to ask me what I would do in a different way to better this daycare, I would be hard pressed to give you an answer. Wow. Maybe new equipment on the outside, but there's always something you can be better. But as a whole, I don't think I'd change our program, our staff, our curriculum, anything right at this point. And that's a good feeling. That's a good thing. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Okay. So, if you were to share with us something about you, mm -hmm. what would it be? Something that uh, 
maybe the parents that know you a little better, I mean, something interesting about you. You are an inter interesting person, so share with us something about you. And I know I'm putting you on the spot and it's hard to think. No, that's all right. It, it's kind of hard to, uh, to tell you uh, something really great and wonderful, but the point is, is to be in this job, you have to really like yourself. You have to have broad shoulders. Sometimes uh, some of my girls and parents treat me like a bartender and they tell me all of their, their, their <laughs> sorrows and their, their woes and what would I do. And I have broad shoulders. And uh, I, I believe in making sure all, everybody that comes here has good self-esteem, especially the children, and good. want them to want to come. So one of the best things I think about me is my personality, my ability to remember names, and hey, I'm smart. <laughs> That's good. Well, um, thank you. I really appreciate the time that you've well, taken to just, you know, talk to me and talk to the folks that will be watching this. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll do it again soon. Yeah, and I want to say that uh, your son Nico is, uh, is a great little guy and <laughs> he loves to come here. He does. Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, he woke up and he goes, Daddy, let's go. And I said, what do you mean? I said, it's early. He goes, no, I want to go play. Yeah, See? <laughs> And that's good when they want to come to school. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So there you have it, folks. I'm Sasha with the Media Heroes, and uh, we will be putting plenty of these videos talking to interesting people here. Not as interesting, quite like hell, <laughs> maybe, but you know, we will have different business owners talking about their business, talking about their lives, how they've gotten where they are, and we just want to share that with you out there and talk about how they market their business, how they've grown, and how just interesting things. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time.